I found this dot covered obliteration room by Yayo Kusama. I fell in love with it. It started out as a white space with everything, chairs, tables, walls, just white. And then people were given these sheets of stickers and they could go through the space and put them wherever they wanted. So after so many people go through, it becomes this blur of color. And I wanted to build a website like that with the same concept in mind and put together this dot dot dot. So you can leave a dot and a thought and then check back to see how the page transforms into this blur of thoughts and color. So to do that, you can click anywhere on the page, enter what's on your mind, and submit it. As soon as it gets a response back, it fills in with the color and you can hover over it and see. And if you hover over the other dots, you can also see what other people want. So for the text stack, I'm using Mongo Database as well as the Mongoose ORM and React in the client and Express in the server. So starting at the client, just to go through a little bit of how it's working, uh, here we have the main index page. Within the body tag, there is a div tag that's pulling in uh, the app ID and then the script tag as well, which is uh, a bundle JS, which is being compiled by Webpack. Um, so we're going to look at first the index page. So this is the, the main component, the React component. And in here you can see that I'm pulling in different material UI components to use. The first thing we want to look at here is in this render. You can see that the div here uh, with the ID of room, on click it's going to render this dot. It's going to call the add dot function. So what that means is when you click anywhere on the web page, it will call the function add dot, which is going to be what adds it to the page. Uh, when you look at the function here, you can see that the first thing it does is it pops up the form so you can enter a thought. It also generates an automated random color and creates a new div, which is going to be the div associated with the dot. It pulls the x and y coordinates of where the click took place and then adds all these CSS styles to the, the div it created, as well as a temp class and appends that to the room. So the reason I'm doing that here is uh, to give the user instant feedback that when a click happens, they can see something. Once all of that executes, we're gonna go back and look at the next thing that is of interest, which is happening in this popover. So the popover is what is opened when the form opens. Here you can see there's the text field that says what's on your mind, and there's a place to fill in uh, the data there. Then there's this button that allows you to submit and on submit when you click it it's going to run close and save. So if we look at close and save you can see that uh, it updates the state pop-up open to false and then sends a post using Axios and Axios is a promise based way to communicate with the server or a database. It's sending a post with the information that we want to store in our database to the server and on the response, if it's positive, then it's then going to make a call to get it so it can then render it. And if there's an error, it's going to call the error. This is going to be caught, I guess, and then run the console log. And so error, so you can see where the error is to debug it. Hopefully, you don't know, still with that, and you just get all positive things. Although sometimes errors happen. So as soon as uh, you get this response back, it updates the state, which triggers a re-render, and removes the temp, so the, the dotted outline is no longer on the page. Taking a look at what's happening on the server, you can see that we are using body parser, so we're adding body to the request. Doing that lets us access all the information that we sent. Here, when the post is received, it sends a request to this Haven API, which is a sentiment analysis, and then on a response, there it makes the call, here's the response, on the response it adds uh, the sentiment aggregate, if it's positive or negative, basically, to the data that it's going to save in the database, as well as the score, so how confident it is that it was a positive or a negative thought. And from there, it sends the response to the database and saves it, and then sends a response back to the client so it can update and re-render the page.
looking at the database, we can see that the schema, uh, the things that we're saving in the database are the y coordinate, the x coordinate, the size, which is currently fixed, but it could be updated to be a variable size. Uh, the color, which is the randomly generated color that was sent and coming from the client. A note, which was input by the user. Uh, the sentiment that we received from the Haven API, as well as the score from the Haven API. And in case you're wondering, I did take cross-site scripting into account. So for example, if I hover over this one, you can see that it renders as text and it doesn't execute a script. And that wraps it up.